Hi, I'm Keith Severson. I work for Cornell Cooperative Extension. And one of the things I do is work with people about soils. One of the primary interesting things that we determine about soils is the pH. And Cornell has uh, developed and uh, provided these pH kits, and many people don't know how to use them. They could save a lot of money by doing their own pH testing. So I'm going to demonstrate how it can be done. But basically, inside the uh, pH test kit, there is a vial for you to work with. There is a chart for you to compare the color. And there is two chemical reagents, chlorophenol red and bromothymol blue. Bromothymol blue is used for testing the more neutral soil from 6 to 7 2. And chlorophenol red is for the lower pH soil from 5 to 6.2. When you start out, you really don't know what the pH is. So what I generally do is take dried soil, put a little in each vial, and it really needs to be dried because if it isn't dried, what you're actually testing is the water that is in the soil at that point in time. One of the biggest mistakes that people make is by putting too much liquid into the soil and trying to test it accurately too quickly. It will puddle up and you won't get a good reaction. You can also see that this soil is so dry that the reagents just want to bounce off from it and not penetrate. So what I like to do is just rock it gently and give the soil a chance to react to the chemical reagents. Now one of the interesting things is before we go any further, in the vial that we use, the bromothymol blue, which is the higher range, you can see that already around the edge if you tease a little of the liquid out it's gone from dark green to almost yellow which means this is basically off the scale pretty much so it's way way low so let's see how it compares with the red we're going to try to be very careful and not make mud because that's what happens when you play around with it. You draw this off again. I'm just using the, the spoon as, as just a little something to get the coax the fluid out. And you can see where you haven't made mud. The color on that is dark yellow also. So we're pretty much off the scale even on the red side. We're in the 5.2 to 5.0 range. Now there are more, um, more wide-ranging uh, pH kits, but this is the general one that we use with most agricultural soils. Cornell has put together a brand new kit, not to replace this, but to make it a little better. And basically it's the same things with a different box. The important thing for you to know and do is that once you purchase these reagents, you don't want them exposed to the sun very long because it reduces their chance to be accurate in assaying the pH. So that's why the handy little Cornell sample box was so important. If you have any questions, just give us a call at Cornell Cooperative Extension. My name is Keith Severson. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. Thank you.